In all of the work that we've been doing in volumes one and two, we've been working with dynamical systems in 1D or 2D. And sometimes we've had coupled systems or couplings between different variables, but now, now it's time to move to arbitrary dimensions and turn up all the dials. We are going to do n-dimensional dynamical systems in continuous and discrete time. And this is where applied dynamical systems really has the potential to be applied. Realistic systems don't really work so well with one-dimensional or two-dimensional models. But in arbitrary dimensions, we're going to be able to look at examples of mechanical systems, population models with multiple species or with population cohorts. We're going to be able to look at examples that we've never seen before, things like signal processing or more realistic market systems. We'll even take a little bit of time, talk about some neuroscience applications, some social networks applications, and maybe a few more things as well. The ability to work with arbitrarily large systems with lots of different pieces coming together and interacting is really what we've been working towards. The interactions of dynamical systems with ideas from network science and graph theory, from topology. These are all really cool and potentially really useful in lots of different places. But first, we have some work to do. We've got to begin at the beginning with linear systems. And linear systems is all about linear algebra. So let's get to work reviewing our linear systems, extending them to ND, and picking up a little bit of linear algebra along the way.